as we continue to learn about our brain and our mind, right, I wanted to talk about our internal dialogue that we wanna learn how to master to really set a mindset for success, we need to learn to master this inner dialogue. And so to master this inner dialogue, we need to understand that there's two parts of us, right? That there's this part of us that when we're outside in nature and you feel so connected to everything, right? That there's this part of us that is this beautiful life force, this energy, we may call it our soul, our spirit, our consciousness, that part of us, if we go back to quantum physics and Einstein, he talked about at the core of who we are, this energy that we are is love, is wholeness. For those of us that really have a religious belief, we would know that that energy may be called God, right? And if we understand that, that who we are is love, who we are is is wholeness you know any other religious foundations they will work in a foundation of knowing that who we are is really wholeness is love some other people might believe more in universal energy and even that belief talks about wholeness and love that who we are at our core is something so great and so phenomenal Right? And then we have this other part of us that's this stored data, right? This, this subconscious mind that's this chattering in our head, right? And so we can have this chattering in our head, which is years of stored data that talks to us. And so what we want to become aware of is all pain comes from that stored data in our brain. The more we can become aware and connect to remembering when we connect to our breath, and we feel that peace inside, we're connecting to our true self, to our consciousness, right? And then we can observe this stored information, this stored data, and we can become aware of what we're thinking and feeling. And here's the interesting thing. So many of the thoughts that come into our head that are even some of this stored data are not even ours. They're, they're beliefs from society. They're other people's thoughts that we've heard as we've been growing up that got stored in this stored data. So as you're learning to become aware of thoughts and to shift your thoughts, know that as you recognize these thoughts, most of our thoughts are not true. And the more that you are able to observe them, notice them, you can be here if you want to, but I know who I am. I know that I'm valuable. I know that I'm unique. I know that I'm love. And you focus more on that. Whatever you focus on grows. And so being aware of who you really are and that you're not this stored data is incredibly important to master our inner dialogue and to create more peace of mind, to be able to live with more purpose, more fulfilled, more joy in our life. So in the next video, I'm gonna teach you four questions to be able to recognize and observe some of these limiting thoughts, play with them and see if they're useful for you, right? You get to decide if these things are useful. And what I will tell you is, as you learn that you, get the, you have the power to change your thoughts, our brain is actually plastic. When we start focusing more on gratitude, on love, on the things that um, bring us joy and, and doing things for other people, we are making new neural pathways in our brain. So our brain starts feeling more joyful. Our brain starts feeling more peaceful. Our brain starts feeling more grateful. And the old pathways of the negative thoughts will start dissipating and falling away because you have the power to literally transform and change your brain. You are doing a fabulous job. I hope this is useful and I will see you in the next video.